Most people with a solar system <clears throat> should be on time of use pricing. In Edison, the tariff is TOUD1. In PG&E, it's E6 or E7. What these tariffs do is they reward you for production in the daytime peak period by giving you extra credit for nighttime uh, drawdown. So every utility is required to do a cost of generation study, COGS. The cost of generation study shows that the, the most expensive time to use electric is peak daytime summer. So in, that's the best time for solar system production. So if they offer that tariff, then we have to be able to use it too for electric production. So we get extra credit for daytime production. The meter that's used is called a time of use meter. It's a little more complicated than a regular meter because it records on 15 minute intervals uh, your production or your usage, what they call generation or load. And then it does a, um, an approximation program to determine uh, what, when, when the energy was produced and when the energy was used. So uh, the meter is a little more complicated and they charge $3.50 a month to uh, lease it. But it's very good because we get extra credit for production in the daytime and which we can use for nighttime charging an electric car. This is a time of use meter, and here's how you read it. This is 04. 71 is the uh, actual production, 28,240 kilowatt hours. The 01 code is the total load. This is what we've actually used, 45,890 kilowatt hours. 02 is the top, 7.92 kilowatts. That was the top power draw. 04 is the number of times it's been reset, 79 times on this meter. And then 71 is our production, 28,240 kilowatt hours. The 28,000 kilowatt hours we produced in the daytime, that's our generation, that counts a lot more. They pay us 40 cents a kilowatt hour for that production, usually during daytime peak in the summer. And the nighttime usage is only 10 cents a kilowatt hour. So even though we only produced 28,000 kilowatt hours, it counted a lot more because it was worth more. So that's why the time of use meter has to be a little more complicated because it has to evaluate your usage and production versus the actual times it was produced. So you can't actually see what your bill is, your usage is by looking at the meter. Instead, instead you have to run the program that the utility has to uh, change the, uh, the daytime production into the equivalent nighttime usages. So in the daytime, we help the grid by lowering the daytime peak and avoiding blackouts. And at nighttime, we help the grid by raising the usage uh, and for all electric cars that are charging slowly so that they don't have to turn off generators. So their big problem is that the peaks and valleys of electric usage, uh, high in the daytime, low at night, and the electric car and solar power just perfectly counterbalance that. Daytime production with the solar system, nighttime slow charging with the electric car. So in slow charging at nighttime, not fast charging, and daytime production of solar power on the roof, which helps the grid in the daytime. The nighttime usage, daytime production.